Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. E-commerce entrepreneurs, are you ready to build your online store with Framer? Get ready to turn your e-commerce dreams into reality. In this 2024 tutorial, we will show you how to create an e-commerce website using Framer. Whether you are new to e-commerce or looking to design a visual standing website, let's get started. So before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, of course, in this video, we'll simply need Framer. So the first thing is to log into your account and create a new project by going to the top right corner and create a new project. And let's start with this blank page. So let me just zoom out a little bit. And yeah, this is perfect. So now as an e-commerce website, you would like to have a couple of things. So e-commerce websites examples so we need to have products and we need to have a couple of things within our page so the first thing as you can see here we have the banner we have of course the menu we have a couple of products and stuff to the website so that's what we are going to try to create the first thing is to go ahead and create the actual navigation menu simply go here go to the navigation and click on the navigation menu that you'd like so for example i'm going to choose this one right here and it has been added successfully now what we're gonna do is to zoom in a little bit just so we can find this uh, menu and I'm going to click double click on it as you can see and they are going to take us to a brand new page so in here we'll have all of these layers right here that we can actually work with here we have icon we have a couple of things that we can work with but in general we only need to change the actual menu right through here so i'm going to change the features to be home page um i'm going to change this right through here of course here for the this one i'm going to see like product here i'm going to change gallery to about us and this one to contact us and this one for privacy policy and yeah this is in general what i would like it to be here we have the logo we can change it of course as well but as long as i am using the free version of uh, framer i would not be able to do so since you really can't change the logo in framer as long as you don't have the permission to so let's go back to the homepage as you can see and now let's start working with it so here I'm just gonna go and zoom out and as you can see we have to add a couple of sections so here we have two different sections let's so add them right here to add them we need to add a layer so I'm going to add two different rows just like that and I'm going to draw them from here into here so here we have kind of split the page into two different sections the first page and the second this first section and the second section so the first section here it seems like we have a woman with kind of like a couple of baskets there so let's add um what like a guy shopping so png and yeah this guy seems to be good or oh, this guy as well have a couple of guys here which we could go for eventually so I don't know maybe we could go with any each one of these but in general I'm going with this one for example let's go and open this image and it seems like it is premium so yeah let's add this one this one seems to be legit and free let's click on it uh, yeah free download I'm not a robot get link download and yeah it seems to be good now uh, all right and it has been downloaded successfully so here what I'm gonna do is to simply drag this image right through here and as you can see upgrade to pro versus pro to increase the limit of uh, the uh, files that you can add it seems like the file is too big yeah the file is too big but anyway here you simply have to go to insert go to media just from here and search for image so there we go click on image and this image should be dragged right here and you could add the image of that simple guy that has the things that you want to add so here as an example i'm gonna make the image take those this whole border since i wanted to actually have a background so here the border let's add like color black so you have kind of like a shadow into it and we can add a width so it can be more seen 
I want it to be more darker something like that seems to be good and we can add shadows as well so now for the image to replace it we have to simply click on choose image and we can replace it right through here but since the image that we have is so big or has bigger size than it should have that is why it's taking so it's not clear us to do so so this is like a smaller image that I have found which I could obviously use so let's use it for now so here we have the banner we can add insert a text which is pretty simple go to creative for text or simply go here and add text right through here so for example I'm gonna click and I'm going to click for example right uh, e-commerce e-commerce store and this is the text I'm gonna make it bigger and I'm gonna simply change the colors it can be more visible for you guys uh, yeah the color selection is so bad but yeah keep up with me guys I can't I'm not good at, at picking colors and other stuff so here we go we have here this we can add literally a button so let's search for button it's gonna be download button but we are going to use it otherwise so here we have the button we are we are going to make it of course um, uh, bigger but for now let's keep it as it is it seems to be fitting our design so let's keep it as it is let's just drag it right here uh, select this one select that one we can move them around let's add it right here for example let's move this down so we can have such a design and now we are going to change the text to be for example buy now and yeah this is the banner for now so here we have a couple of things so we are going to add another layout for our product so we have here to add a couple of products so we are going to add a couple of columns so we are going to add two columns here and another two columns right here so what is it going to help us with exactly let me just remove it okay so what is it gonna help us exactly with well I'm gonna see guys so here we go let me just remove it move it right here all right so this is gonna help us to add products for each section exactly with a good size so now we simply have to go to insert search for image and simply add your image right through here make it small add a border into it and of course make everything looks pretty nice so here we have border of course you have to add the image of your product and simply what is supposed to be next is to add buttons of by now so let's add it right here add another one right here and there you have it of course you have to take it even more further you have to get the premium version of Raymer to even have more creativity within your website. And yeah guys, this is all you need to know for you to create an e-commerce website within Framer. Thank you guys a lot and see you guys in the next tutorial.